What's going on guys and well, whoa, that's dark. Welcome back to another video. Uh, lost my AirPods, so yeah, I'm doing this right now. It, talking on the phone is challenging. Like like this, you know, you have to occupy a hand, so that, yeah, anyway, we're keeping it here, we're keeping it here, but hope that you guys are doing absolutely outstanding. We have some work to do on the trailer today, which is right there. There are some things that we need to discuss in this video, and I figured I wanted to show you guys, because I know a lot of you guys have trailers out in the audience, and I like to kind of give y'all some suggestions and feedback as we kind of build the trailer to be the perfect tow rig as well. Now, before we get there, the deadline for Papa Smurf's entries is closing fast. If you guys haven't gotten entered already, a hat or a shirt or anything on the enthusiast site is going to get you entered for a chance to win this truck. If you haven't seen it yet, this is a 2007 5.9 Cummins. It's got an S400 second gen swap turbo and manifold setup, 22 by 14 American force wheels, 355 40 Nitto tires, and a 700 horsepower Suncoast transmission and a slew of other kind of aesthetic modifications and stuff like that. Long story short, one of you is going to be taking this truck home very soon. So if you haven't gotten your entry, Entries, consider doing so because it could be your name on the title of this truck here in the beginning of July. I've been loving this thing though, guys. I've been driving it as much as I possibly can because it is a freaking blast. The goods <sighs> and the stuff. So those of you guys that have been following the channel for a while know that I have a 25 foot Big Tex gooseneck trailer that is white. White trailers are really hard to find. So I'm really excited about the fact that we have this thing in the fleet. I'm somewhat privy to this color. I just think it's very simple. I've had this for a little while now. It's been an awesome trailer, but the one thing that it didn't come equipped with from the dealership was a winch plate. Now you guys can see that the trailer is not really in all that of an appealing state right now as well. We just had to have the winch plate cut off and then repositioned. Long story short, I wanted a winch plate installed but it was installed vertically it had this plate welded here to here so it was sitting up and down and i mounted this winch this is a badland 12,000 pound winch from harbor freight it's been great so far i mean it, i have no complaints with it but it was mounted forward and it wasn't going to work there's a module that sits up here that controls all the electronics and well this cable was kind of down here and if you pulled on it it would actually rip that off so I had to fall back to a local friend that does welding on the side to basically cut it all off and then remount it horizontally. I don't know why it was mounted vertically in the first place, but we're not gonna go there today. He also went out and put these nice little mounting posts on here for the rollers as well, so we can run the cable straight through there and it'll be good to go. Now we have a nice usable setup that's actually tucked away so I can still utilize 100% of my deck space. Having 20 foot of deck space and then the five foot with the ramps, you kind of have to really Really utilize as much space as you possibly can. So as you guys can see, this sat out for a little while and there's some kind of surface oxidation that had happened just from some moisture and some rain. It's really not that big of a deal. Uh, but today, what we're gonna be doing is we're actually gonna be painting that back up so it matches the trailer. So we've got some flat primer and then some gloss to kind of match the trailer, if you will, here. And then we'll also be doing um, some stuff to the deck boards on this trailer before it gets too dirty down. Like here's some oil and some other kind of contaminant. But it's not all that bad in the grand scheme of things. So I kind of wanted to knock this out too. Plus we need to hook the winch back up and get that good and running. And while well, we have one other thing that's coming here to help with charging the standalone battery, which is tucked down there. And that is actually a solar plate that we're gonna mount on one of the sides of the winch as a trickle charger. So we don't run into the whole dead battery situation if the trailer sits for an extended period of time. First things first, uh, we gotta pull the winch off and we gotta kind of clean up and prep our surfaces here. Now, they definitely did a really good job welding this thing in. It's definitely not going to go anywhere. And I love the fact that we've got these little pieces now for that cable guide. I think that's pretty important. Uh, so give us some brake cleaner a try here to get this rust off. And we should be able to scrub that down enough to where it comes off. even on anymore oh yeah a little dust day Woo! hey 
All right, so uh, I think my camera turned off halfway through because it got a little hot outside, a little bit steamy today, cleaning off the lens there. All right, now we're looking good. We've got everything painted now. It matches relatively well. There's still some dirt and kind of um, call it contaminant on the area. So I still got to clean that off. But uh, for now, we're all painted up. All of the exposed metal is now covered. So we're not going to run into any rusting issues. Hit it with a flat primer first and then uh, laid over it with a gloss. It matches relatively closely, but it's kind of hard to tell right now because the trailer is just, just honestly dirty from use. And I'm happy with it. Everything looks good. So we got to let that dry. And in the meantime, I actually want to get to step number two of what we're doing today, which has to do with the deck boards. Now, before these get too dirty, I actually wanted to go over them with a coating, A, for aesthetic purpose, and B, just for some protection. But I think really predominantly it's for aesthetics. So I actually went out and I picked myself up some waterproof stain and sealer, and it's kind of like a gray black, like a dark gray. Um, so this is just simple stain. And what we're going to do is we are going to stain the deck boards on the trailer to, well, protect them, but also to make them kind of blend in with with my theme, which is usually white and black. So should be a simple process. This is just a rollover stain. I'm gonna go ahead and try and coat as much of the area as I possibly can with the roller. And then for the, the little tight end areas here, we're gonna probably come back and hit that all with kind of like a touch up brush and stuff like that, but relatively simple. Um, pretty cost effective too in the grand scheme of things. So what I wanna do though, is I actually want to pull the trailer out from under all these trees here. You can see we're shedding some natural berries and stuff and I don't want all that to fall down. I literally just swept this all off, but I'm sure that stuff's going to continue to drop with that slight breeze that we have in the beautiful state of Pennsylvania today. So let's get our rampa. We'll hook them up to the trailer. We'll pull it forward a little bit and we'll get the process started. <laughs> mix in action here. So as you guys can see, we made some great progress with, well, the first coating on the top of the boards. And then I just spent like the last hour and a half basically trying to knock out some of the exposed wood that you could see in the cracks and crevices. I did get a little bit of stain on the actual deck rails, but we've got some mineral spirits right there, which will basically take all of that off. So I'm not really too worried about it. Rather, I just wanted to kind of get the sides covered. So that way, when you look at it from the side, it's not like you saw any exposed wood. I could have probably pulled all the deck boards off, but I opted against that. So everything is dry. The stain dries super fast, which is nice. And I basically have to just do my last coating. One gallon of stain has seemed to be enough. I'm just gonna run over this again real quick, get the second layer on, and then we will be golden, good, and ready to rock and roll. I believe everything up here has dried as well. So then we'll throw the winch back on and we'll get that all wired up and ready to rock and rumble. Making progress. This is, this is good stuff. All right, guys, now we got the second coat on and uh, just a little bit of cleanup now required. That's really about it. I got kind of lazy here, but if you take some lacquer thinner or mineral spirits, uh, either one, honestly, will take all this right off. I'm actually not going to do that right now as I'm going to let this cure and then I'm gonna come back and well, do the tedious process of cleanup. But as you guys can imagine, it's next to impossible to keep any of the, uh, let's just say, stain off of some of the exposed white areas up here. It is what it is, but we'll get it cleaned up and then we'll be, we'll be rocking and rolling boys we're styling we're really styling with this gooseneck right now but that brings us to the finishing touches that we need to do on the winch well first we need to get it reinstalled and then we need to run the wiring and kind of clean all that up so let's let's do that right now okay
Right, uh, we'll install the hook here. That cotter pin. Now we basically just have to run power since I had to disconnect pretty much everything here. And I think I still want to go up and around the rear. So this is basically gonna sit here. It's the power module. We've got all of our positrons and negatoids here. And the ground on the bottom. All right, moment of truth. I left my wireless remote in the uh, LML, so we're just gonna have to give it a shot here. just like it was meant to be. Sweet, that looks really legit. All right guys, so here's kind of a final look. I never showed you actually the installation of the winch, so I did end up putting a battery box into the front storage bin. Ended up getting a little grommet here and then used a hole star to cut through, wrapped up the wiring loom and everything for the actual winch. It came out really good. Like I had mentioned earlier, these trailers actually don't come with winch plates. I don't really think they're designated for them, but for our use case, if we're breaking something, of course we want a winch. There's a look at the front for you guys at how it is now finally installed. I really didn't talk about it much, but when it was installed up and down, the cable here actually had to wrap up and around the front to pull and it would actually have ripped this whole module off. Now we're good to go. And when it was mounted vertically, it actually impeded on our deck space and, and that's really no good. Um, I still haven't cleaned up the deck rails. I'm gonna get to that here in a little bit, but I wanted to kind of give you guys a final look at not only the winch setup that we now have on the rig for enthusiasts, but also the deck boards and the fact that, well, Come on, let's be honest here. Black and white, boy, Stormtrooper, Panda Bear. Come on, Panda Bear Nation, we're looking we're looking pretty good. A Little bit of cleanup required, but nothing that we can't handle. And now we're good to go. Now the last thing that we'll have is, like I had mentioned, I don't have it right now, but it should be coming in here shortly. It's gonna be a solar powered trickle charger for the battery. We're gonna mount that probably right here. I might actually end up getting a second one and putting it right there. And that way we can get kind of double the wattage, if you will, back to the battery. And then that way we never really run into a dead battery state because usually the batteries die in the times that you need the most. How do you uh, is it recording? Yep. Something like that. Something like this. I feel like your face is a little bit shadowy. That's something like that. What should I do? I don't know. Something like this? Yeah. Can you see me here? Yeah. If I put my hat this way, is it still too shadowy? I think so. It's kind of hard to tell on the screen, but it looks that way. How about that? Um, Something like this. That should be good. How big you do? Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I love that sound. And back. Sorry for the change up guys. I went to review my footage while editing and it wasn't there. So uh, I had to film a quick outro just to say goodbye and thank you guys for watching this video. Hey, no barking little doggy. Stop barking little doggy. You definitely don't listen well. But anyway, guys, I had just ended the video with Rampa Smurf. If you guys haven't gotten entered already, go ahead and do so. Just think, I stop working. It's rude. Come on, we're trying to make a video over here. Just think, guys, one hat, one t-shirt's going to change one of your lives forever. My life legal love you guys do what you do best. Tap that subscribe button on your way out. And well, I'll see you guys in the next video. I think we're going on a pretty serious adventure. Stay tuned.